What's up? Just wanted to give a quick little explanation on the fan upgrades as well as RAM and storage that I made on my HP Omen. So, just a quick little rundown. I added another 16 gigs of RAM. I replaced the 120 up top, the 92 in the back, as well as the 120 in the front with Noctua fans. 1700 for the top uh, radio fan. So I don't know what time my computer is, to be honest with you, but I've done a good bit of research on the Omen as well as the upgrades I made. Basic enough to be able to do what I did. So, recommend trying to find a fan that is rated for going through a radiator. Because there's a big difference between that fan up top compared to the one that I have on my intake in the front. So you need to buy one that is meant to go in the front, like up here compared to in the front of your case if you want to do a fan upgrade. Super simple. Exhaust. I went all Noctua. Just the choice I made. Seemed like a good option. They're extremely quiet. Compared to the original fans, just give me a second, I'll pull one out. So your original like Omen fan in the back, it's gonna make a squeaky noise whenever it spins. You may not notice it now, but if you do do a fan swap to an Octua, it is very noticeable. Comparing it to a squeak noise, all you hear now is the airflow. And for the temps, the money spent on fans compared to like, there's a lot of talk about doing a full case swap on Omen, particularly seems like it's not work <laughs> for what it's worth, if we're being honest, compared to just swapping three fans out, stay in the same case, get a lot better temperatures. So, on system vitals, these aren't 100% accurate through the Omen stuff, they're honestly not accurate at all to be honest but that's what omen things were sitting at with the upgrade to fans but let's throw on ryzen master gets a little bit more accurate cpu wise so right now doing nothing but running steam omen and ryzen master we're sitting around 50 degrees Celsius on the CPU. It's not outrageously better than stock, but for the noise difference, it's so much worth it to me. Uh, let's see if I pull up GeForce. So Ryzen and GeForce are gonna be very much so, a lot more accurate. We are sitting at 37 degrees Celsius, 36. Celsius on GPU at idle, which for this case, you have an omen, you know, it's gonna be a lot better than what it was, <laughs> especially for the noise level. What you can hear, you just hear the airflow, if we're being honest. So, I'm not gonna go super in depth, but I will give a quick rundown on how to change the fans if that's something you're interested in. So, if that's what you're looking for, we're gonna start that in a few seconds, but other than that. The only thing that was in addition, threw another terabyte SSD in there. So, where that's located, you kind of see the Samsung logo. It's going to be behind the graphics card. So, there's a little plastic piece there. It won't fit when you try to put it back on. I tried, won't fit. Look it up. A bunch of people have the same issue. Going to have to leave it exposed. I left the little rubber th thermal pad on there. It's worked fine. It's not a big deal to me. Doesn't not noticeable. Works completely fine. To access that, you're gonna have screw at the top there, and then you have two there. I believe that should be all. I believe that's all in the GPU brace, and then you're just gonna pull. The, it's it's a good bit of pressure if you want to add another SSD, but this will just it will just pull up, and then you can unscrew your GPU. Clip, push the little bracket down, pull out your GPU, and swap it in the SSD. A little plastic piece that is originally over that spot for the SSD, where that Samsung is. It's a little hard to pull off. I'm just gonna let you be aware of that. It's kind of a pain to pull off, but it's not gonna snap as long as you're careful. That's the biggest thing. You gotta be super careful when you're doing it. 
make sure not to lose a screw because <laughs> if you drop a screw like that screw down there if you drop that on your motherboard or anywhere in this case it's gonna be very hard to get it back so just be extremely careful so the Noctu fans the cables are a little long and i just didn't bother trying to hide them better than that so this top fan it's four screws in the back one two three four simple as that you can pull out the original omen fan then i used i believe i used the same no i i used the nocto screws see four nocto screws super simple just throw them in you screw them in you're gonna want to make sure that your fan is facing the correct direction because that's gonna be your exhaust fan if you swap these out same on the omen fan you can tell see how they're facing this direction compared to this the brace means that the air is flowing that way towards you so you want this direction for these fans the back fan is a 92 millimeter fan you want a 92 millimeter exhaust fan for reference this is the fan i went with from noctua it's not crazy expensive works amazing sounds way better your cable is going to be right there system fan so you just simply pull out the original one and slot that one in okay so this is the radiator this one is a little bit harder to do i'm gonna be honest but it's pretty simple there's a screw on this side and i believe there's one on the other side if i remember correctly that top screw you're gonna simply undo those two screws and this whole the whole radiator will s pop out you just have to slowly pull that out there's another video i'd recommend looking it up where he actually goes through it i'm too late to do that i didn't think about recording it but once you undo those two screws the radiator is simply this in right here will pop down a little bit and you slowly have to pull it out. I, and then that'll allow you to unscrew the screws in this fan. I'm not sure if it's all four. I believe it's all four, but it may be just the kitty corner. Just have to take it slow when you're doing it. Make sure not to rip out any cables while you're doing it or to bend these tubes too drastically. You just gotta be very careful while you're doing it. But once you pop it out by unscrewing those two screws, that screw on this side, I believe there's one on this side. There should be, yes, there is. Let's screw at the very top. You just gotta unscrew that one and the one on this side, and then you'll be able to pop that out and simply replace the fan. It's the same process once you do that. That fan, I'd recommend make sure it's also exhaust because you want it pushing out towards the top. Route your set your cable the start on that end, that back corner, bring it around all the way. And then you're going right to the spot right next to your ram top fan that's where i did mine cable i know it's not the best but i normally have the light off in here so it doesn't bother me okay so this final fan this one is honestly the most easy to swap uh so that right there that bottom right corner is going to be your fan cable. Simply can pull that out and that should work for you. But I mean, like once you're doing it, it's gonna have an RGB 1.0 as well. That'll go in the RGB controller in that bottom right area. It's kind of hard to tell, but there's actually, if you Google Omen front fan swap, Omen release a tutorial, a repair tutorial it's the same process to be to take out a new their fan and put in a new one. I don't have an RGB in this one, so you don't have to plug in back the RGB. But it's pretty simple. Four screws in the bottom of this in the front. There's gonna be a screw right here. You can simply unscrew that. It's kind of tricky to pull it off, but you should be able to just pull off this front panel. Other than that, it's two screws. They only have two screws in this front fan. I believe it's top left bottom right but i could only get two to go in they don't have it milled correctly to be able to get all four in with this certain fan 
it's kind of hard with this fan i'll be honest you will you'll have to kind of mess with it to be able to get it in the corner of this fan it's not impossible but just take your time doing it ram wise simply it's google it right now if you want to simple ram make sure you take your clip on the bottom and the top press the clip down i just google if you've never done it before just google ram installation simple as that but it's going to be so another thing ram i can't get mine to change color i think it's a problem with the whole software in general but so simply hyperx 16 gigabyte ddr4 3200 xmp rgb then you can just go let's throw that crap from amazon so you want a two by eight Make sure you get two. Don't just buy one. That's not do. Don't do that. <laughs> uh, thirty-two hundred. That's what the woman comes with stocks. So you're gonna need thirty-two hundred again. Actually, this is not the right one. My mistake. It would be. Should be this one. My bad. Yeah, it's the Fury. My mistake. Yeah. HyperX, RGB, 16 gig, 3200, DDR4. So you'd want to go 